straight into the square. Look at that. There's a lot of calls coming in here. They won't break through this in a hurry. They will not break through this in a hurry. We can flank them. Oh, they've got into that line there. Come on, lads. Let's get in the square. Get in the square. Whoa, whoa, my goodness me. I wasn't keeping an eye on things, I wasn't keeping an eye on things. <laughs> Gotta crush this flank. Greetings and welcome to episode 9 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod Saxony Empire campaign. This, my friends, is how we left it last time, where we've had a terrific fight against the Prussians as they moved against Berlin. Now, we did manage to really give them a sound thrashing to the point where they ran with their tails between their legs here, and that's all that's left of the remnants of this army they sent in towards us. But they do have another army here. It looks like it can be quite a tough proposition indeed there are quite a number of veterans here including the swiss line infantry which really are a formidable foe including the marines as well but we're not going to be disillusioned by that we are in fact ready to stand on our own two feet here now as you can see this army here is looking in fine fettle here we do have a number of regiments that aren't quite at full strength but it's not to diminish their their abilities at all but they are two of the the lesser regiments. Now, that, again, I'm, I know many Mallet, Pikemen, they've, they've served us well, but we've got the main regiments up to full strength here. That's the most important thing. The Pikemen have served very, very well for us. Now, I'm usually not the largest fan of Pikemen, but in this instance, they have served us incredibly well. It, it, definitely against the cavalry. They've absolutely butchered the cavalry, which has been absolutely fantastic to see. And indeed, this garrison here has performed very very well indeed under a severe pressure so they've done very well including the cavalry which really w were the linchpin of our defense there so we've sent the prussians packing here now the council has come forth with some wonderful advice once again the primary advice is two twofold the first is we need another army now that's going to be a real task for us it really really is we've got to try and get that repaired as well if we possibly can this iron works here um, because that will bring in a substantial money for us as well. Not, but yes, indeed, 1,200 regional wealth, which we definitely need to do here. We need to get another army up. Now, that's going to be difficult. But also, f to, to start with, I propose, what do we do with Poland? Now, Poland, of course, we're protected of Poland, which means half our income goes directly to Poland. Now, as you can see here, Poland does control these three regions here. They're also harassing and haranguing the Austrians here in Hungary. Um, they really are giving them a sound fashion. They've got Warsaw here, Prussia, of course, but down here, as you can see, Poland is here. And of course, we've also got the Ottomans as well, who we are at, we are close trade allies with. But the Council have pretty much said, Mali, you need to cancel that protectorate, because we're a protectorate with them. You need to cancel that alliance. You need to cancel it, stand on your two feet. So the income we have, which at the moment is 2725, is ours all of ours at the moment that is halved so half goes to poland half goes to us now we need to take all of this we need to take our own our own destiny in our own hands as it were so i think also we need to really start to boost our sort of our income here. as you can see let's just quickly go into here as you can see the tax rate is not too bad but the regional wealth is not as high as it should be that's because the nobility is getting taxed quite high. So what we will do, so I think we'll just lower the tax levels here. Look at that. 
and already the wealth is starting to look very nicely here now for some reason this has gone bankruptcy probably that's the reason why but yeah look at that the increase in wealth here will spill through to us we've also got to keep an eye here on sweden sweden has a clear warning of us for some reason and they do have some powerful forces here but this is quite a strong army here. nothing i don't think we couldn't deal with but again, we've got to keep our eye on so many different things. But I'd like to try and keep the money we make for ourselves. So we're going to cancel the alliance we have with Poland. So we cancel the alliance. But for some reason, it gives you military alliance. We're not offering the military alliance them. We want to cancel it. But for some reason, this must be some kind of bug here where it's offering a military alliance. So what we'll do is we'll send this proposal. Ah, we are. Look at that. So we're no longer protectorate, but we've got a military alliance with them. I don't quite understand that, but it should keep them... I know that... Yeah, allies, of course. We've moved from protectorate to ally. But I don't know how that works, but my goodness me, that has worked. An absolute treat. Also, we've council has requested we start to offer some of our technology for money or their own technology as well. We do need improved... Hamel husbandry. Let's see if we can get use empiricism and for that. That would be a wonder. No, I don't think we'll do that. I think we'd want more payments than that. I think we'd want a thousand. I don't mind because they're an ally, so I, I, we need them to be fairly strong. I don't mind giving that for a thousand and for That would help us a little bit there, but spinning jenny i'd like to try and get more money out of it to be honest with you i think that would serve us far greater there no they're not in for that at all i don't think we'll do that because that's 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 tilted very much in their favor 13 colonies let's try and let's see if we can sell some of our 13 colonies they may want that ah excellent that worked a treat. Once again, the council really has come absolutely to the fore here. So we can sell them something else. Many of them saying don't sell our te military technology. I wouldn't mind sending it to the 13 colonies because they are quite far away and they are also very friendly with us. The protective Great Britain, which might put Britain on our... Yes, indeed. They're buying everything they can from us. They've obviously got plenty of money here. Let's keep that going because it will give us a chance to repair some of our things and also repair some of our and replenish them of our armies as well. We might just sell them ring bayonets. Let's see if they'll take that as well. If we get 3,000 gold out of that, would be a wonder. No, they, I think they might have run out of money. And just one more time. Let's try square formation. And we'll try to... There might be the extent of their money there, I think. Yeah, that's, I think that's probably done. And now I know the Dutch are in trouble. The Dutch are actually being besieged. But can we just try and get something out of them before they fall apart? Now, physocracy. We've got military syllabus. And they've got a spinning jenny. I wanted to get that because that would actually boost our income. Oh, spinning jenny textile. I think we'll just try and go for money to start with. I think money's in greater demand, to be honest with you. Yes, indeed. Can we get any... Oh, my goodness me, what a wonder. Um, carbines, perhaps? No, it looks like they may be also might have run out of money. No, that's it. I wonder if we can swap for... Oh, I'd rather get physocracy. Take that one away. Because that will give us a, boom, a boost to our income by a trade. Let's see if we can trade directly here. No, it looks like they've had enough there. Anybody else? What about Spain? Spain are indifferent to us, but we might be able to sell them. Might they probably... No, they don't at all. They don't have anything at all. We'll try and sell them square formation. No, it looks like they, they're not interested either. Ottomans? Let's see if we can sell Ottomans. No, the Ottomans are... Allies we'd like to try and keep. They've got a lot of enemies, but they've got a lot of trade partners. They're a huge trade. No, 
Nope, they're not. Nope. We don't want to push our luck too much. Now, France is unfriendly. But let's see if we can perhaps sell them something. They've got a lot of technology there available. Nope. I thought we might have pushed just a oh, bit of Bavaria. They're very friendly with us. Perhaps. How have they got that so quickly? My goodness me. Measuring tools. I wouldn't mind to get measuring tools. No, we'll just try one more time with square formation and payments of a thousand. Otherwise, we won't push too much. No, that's enough now, I think. We've done there. We've got 3,000 of that. That is absolutely wonderful. The council ones again coming to the fore. Now, we need to repair some of these in Prague here. But I think we'll have to try and get the, the, these forces up, up to full scratch here if possible. Because we did run out of money before. So we've got the main, let's get this here, and this one here, and here. That's not going to cost us too much at all there, is it? That's at full strength there. That's excellent. Now look here, is all this army? No, they're not. These aren't. And this aren't. These aren't either. I don't think we can repair anything else. We can upgrade that there, ten to ten with farms, which I'm tempted to do, to be honest with you. The opera house give us. We might do that if things go a little bit pear shaped for us, but <clears throat> I'll try and drive the economy, because the economy is going to be the thing that's going to enable us. I've got a feeling that Sweden might come for us very soon. I'll try and get that repaired as well, if possible, the next turn. But look at this. They're being hit here by something. Something's going on here. For this to be like this. Unless they, unless they haven't had a chance to replenish. Look at that. They're hitting each other pretty hard here. And Sweden is here as well. Are Russia and Sweden at war? Yes, that's excellent. I'm hoping Russia pushing in Sweden. We won't panic just yet. And I hope that the Dutch can hold out against this here. But I've got a feeling they might well. Yeah, I think they I think they should be able to, to be honest with you. Right, I think that's all we're gonna do at the moment. That's all we can do at the moment at least. How's our research doing here? We're moving down to improved animal husbandry, which will give us generation by farms. So actually if we get our farms up to scratch, we'll actually benefit from that eight percent boost. Um Basic steam pump that'll help on the ironworks here. But I'd like to get measuring tools for the metal roads because that'll be that'll be vital. But we're also looking to establish a brand new army as well. Militia, not too bad, but we can't get any more regiments. We're not at the moment, but let's end the turn here and let's see what comes our way, my friends. It's going to be a real humdinger of a we're back coming our way again, potentially. Let's just speed things up a little bit here. Britain's got a massive fleet there. And that's good. That's good that France are dealing with the with the pirates there. Are Britain and France at war? I'm not sure, but again, as you can see, Austria just coming together there with a very powerful. It looks like they're going to put an army together, but potentially, unless they're going to move against. Oh, they got absolutely thrashed there, my goodness me. Oh, wow, so did the Spanish, wow. What will Prussia do? It looks like they might come down for us there, Prussia. But not yet. Now, Poland, we have military alliance with Poland, so we're okay there. Ottomans, again, we can only hope the Ottomans can push against, against um, Austria. Russia. Sweden. Oh, oh wait, oh, they, oh, I see they're defending there. Mokal. Denmark. Oh, would you look at that? Denmark hitting Sweden. Well, that's a good thing, that's good for us. But 
Barbary states who've been an absolute menace along the trade lines here. They really have. And, as you can see, oh, look at that rebellion in Hanover. Just what we didn't need. So I think we're going to have to send this force here, which is going to be absolutely not key at the moment. Not the ideal situation there for us at all. That's why we need another army, to be honest with you. So what we're going to have to do, we have to build up this... Oh, look at that. We have to build up this army here, I think. This will be our third army here. What we're going to do is we're going to definitely... 2956, that's excellent. Gonna get these gentlemen up here. We've got the rebellion here, which will only grow in strength. They'll probably come for Hanover. But what I, what I want to do is I want to just make sure that we've got everything here. Okay, because this army, this army wants it at full strength, can and will be able to deal with this rebellion here. Excellent. I am my estate. Let's just quickly check what's going on down here. Look at that. There's the Ottomans there. We need to find out what's going on over here as well, to be honest with you. So we'll just double back there. So of course they didn't really arrive in time. But this army, sh even if even if Hanover is lost, it should give us time to get ourselves organised. They're not really, that's not that, I mean, that's got some 12 pounds, or that'll give us some problems, but this army should be able to move in and cover this here as well. We've got to be careful of Sweden, because they, they have just pretty much stopped where they are. So I'd like to try and get a third army. This will be the third army here. This army is for replenishing and repairing here. I'd like to try and get also Prague up to full here, so we can make the most of what we've got here in Prague. Mind you, to replenish this, how much is that going to cost? 1,800 to get the Governor's Palace up. That'll give us a bonus there to the income, so we might have to get that next turn. It's good to see that Denmark's hitting back here against Sweden. That should damage them a little bit there, keep them on their toes. But for the moment, we can't really do much. I know the Council have called us for moving against Prussia, but to move out now against Prussia would probably hurt us in the long run, but if we can get another army up that can patrol and guard these to reach Berlin, particularly Berlin, we could probably move against Prussia, but trust it to be a Hanoverian sort of rebellion now, but we'll probably crush it with this army here, it'll gain more experience as well, but some of them are still way off from being at full strength, which is a little bit of a problem there for us. We just didn't make it in time to get those two in there, exempt from tax as well, as you can see, so... We haven't got that tax income there either. Actually, look at that. The wealth now is starting to increase here. So that should help us here a great deal. I have to end. Although we could probably put invest in the farms here. And try and get our, our wealth up here as well. Probably better to do it here. Tempted farms there in Berlin. In Brandenburg. So we'll do that. And let's end the turn again. That's almost going to be done. So I'll be so that will actually benefit directly when we have the farms built. We need to repair this as well here. But if we're going to lose Hanover, I don't really want to give this to the Hanoverians. So we'll hold off on that there as well. Send the two. So Britain really is going to build up quite the fleet here in the Atlantic. That's a huge fleet, my goodness me. Oh, excellent. They dealt with the Barbaries as well. That's excellent. Oh, oh, where's... Where is that? Where has that gone? Oh. What? Prussia? Uh, Russia have taken Konigsberg? Did I just see that? Is that, is that a peace treaty? Wow, I didn't see that coming.
Here's Bavaria. Now, Bavaria is starting to build up some forces here along the border. Are they going to move against Austria by themselves? That would be an absolute boom. There it is. Now we know we've got like, these two, they're not going to do a lot here, but... They lost 479 men. Wow. Now they've retaken that there, that's okay. We knew that would be, that would be lost. But we are going to take that back, we're not going to allow them to hold on to Hanover, that's ours. This army is not in good shape at all there. I think we will move and besiege this here. Not all of them are at full strength, but they're all most of them are. I'm not going to surrender, so we'll just continue there. There's not a chance they're going to get that without a fight, believe me. Oh, well, look at that. This army now at full strength. It's not quite just yet. And we'll get this gentleman up as well. 275. Don't tell me we're still giving them only half our money. I thought we'd cancel the protectorate here. Why? I thought we're not protected anymore, so why, why are they still getting half of our money here? This is very odd indeed. But this is... I, I, am, I have no idea what's going on there. No, they're still at war. That means Russia took this from Prussia. Oh, Poland have retaken Warsaw. Wow. Plot thickens, my friends. And Bavaria down here are building up a sizable force here. So we can sell some more of our... Oh, look at that. No trade. We can now we're trying to trade with them. Yes, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Trade with a very close ally. Even better. Anything else we can get here? No. Westphalia, very friendly with Westphalia. They are attacking the Dutch. <clears throat> They're unfriendly with us. Very friendly here, very friendly with the 13 colonies. Can we sell the Dutch any more? I wonder. No. For 13 colonies, they may be in for some more. <clears throat> Try and get this here. We're after the money. Yes. Even better. We'll spend that money because for some reason, I think we're st most of our money is still going to Poland. I don't know why, though. That is baffling. We'll try and give them square formation. They may not like that. No, nope, not interested in that at all. Oh, Poland. Can we sell Poland some technology here? No, they're not interested in either. We'll just take we'll take that there. I've got enough of that. All that. Can repair those two, but I don't really want to put the money into those just yet. But look, look at that there. Put that intensive farms. That should give us a good boost there. We're definitely going to take this now. So we're going to battle these gentlemen here. But I, where did it... Ooh. Ah, that's why... Hang on a minute. How do they get these back up to full strength? How do they get those back up to full strength? And they've got the 12 pounders and the mortars. Luckily we've got the cavalry which should help us out here, but my goodness. How did they get that there so like that? That is extraordinary. I still don't understand how they managed to do that. The line infantry really isn't isn't up to ours here at the moment. 
It's mostly it's mostly these, but I don't understand how they managed to get that up to full because that that artillery is going to give us a heck of a time. Let's just continue. To see. Can we bring in the other army? No, it's far too far away. That is there. We have to do this by ourselves here. I don't really want to give Hanover up, but if we risk this army here, it's going to cost us dear, isn't it? That's the last thing I want to do is cost us an army because we've got <coughs> Sweden here as well. I think Sweden's been hit, hit, been hit pretty hard here. That's been blockaded as well there. Hopefully we've seen the expansion now of Russia and of Poland. Can we take this fight here? Because we're not at full strength. We have to use our cavalry absolutely perfectly here. <clears throat> our cavalry's going to have to deal with this this here without a shadow of a doubt. And we're going to have to pull back as best we can here. Well, let's take this fight. It's going to cost us dear this fight here for, for Hanover. Let's we allow them to come out to us. I think we might do that. There's a lot of income there. get these built up here as well. Keep this under under siege here and they might be able to pull them out from the city. Let's end the turn. Again. Oh, well done Britain. It's a huge British fleet. Austria taking a bit of a beating there. Spain, Prussia. Ottoman Empire. What will Russia do here? No, nothing at the moment. Sweden not doing anything either. us. That's excellent. If we're defending, that's going to give us a much better position here to be able to defend against these. Not everything, but this, this cavalry is going to be absolutely pivotal. If we can get in behind them. Let's take this fight. This will be a really, in this is going to be a very important fight here. here. It's a very narrow deployment zone here. Very short deployment zone as well. Oh, look at that. They've got the town here. They'll break up their advance. That's absolutely perfect. Well, I think we'll set ourselves as far back as we possibly can here, but the, the cavalry is going to be pivotal here to us. It really is. We could operate on this flank here. Now, what's the left like? The left is more heavily probably to do with the town. We're not going to have that much freedom of movement here. Because you have to, you'd have to move in between all these houses or break up your, your charge. But I think we might be able to move and use the trees here. As, as out. We have to watch out for that mortars. The mortars will absolutely brutalise the, the cavalry if we're not careful. So I think we'll put the cavalry here. They're going to be key to this. And we're also definitely going to set our troops way back here. We'll see if we can target their artillery as well with ours, but it's going to be a hard, hard fight here. Now, let's set our vanguard of the defence here. Let's have the 7th Regiment that have served as well here. 
I think this might be about the fifth time we fought for, for Hanover. Fourteenth. Here. On the right. Fifteenth regiment on the left. Twentieth regiment on the left. First regiment here on the right. Again, we're just trying to keep ourselves <clears throat> in good shape here. 22nd regiment in on the far right here. We might use the militia as a counter charge. We have the 13th on the left. Okay, just making sure we've got everything. We might use the militia here as a counter charge. See that militia there is way down there. But again, we'll use them just to defend the we'll use them to defend the artery if they come in really close to us. Okay, we've, got, we've got two regiments here, three regiments, I beg your pardon. We we'll have these gentlemen here on the right of the artillery, just again, just to defend it. If they get too close. We've got these two regiments then here. Of militia and again using the counter charge. But the, the horseshoe is going to be crucial to us. It really, really is. I think we're set fair here now. We've got a good, strong defence. Let's just set the line a little bit. That's more like it, gentlemen. One moment. Get that. Absolutely, yes, that's more like it. Now, let's begin. Oh, that's excellent. got to go for their artillery as best we can here. They're not firing, which is great. But they're going to move on this flank here pretty hard. There's a demarcation line all the way back here. Looks like they're not going to... This is our ace card here. Looks like they're setting up here. Because they're taking a heck of a... Looks like they're going to go for our artillery our cavalry here. Let's get them out of there. Let's get them out of there. We can't risk them. Anything happens to them at all. Taking an absolute hammering here. We... What? They're moving away from me. And there, the mortars are moving. Definitely get in behind them here if we can, but they are the cavalry not going to be able to do that. They stretch right out down here. Again, absolutely pounded here. Break our lines here. If we're not careful, let's get because if as soon as these get hit here, they'll probably strike at us. So I have to try and bring. I think I'll bring the cavalry back to here. Got to hold our nerve here, but look at this regiment, it's been absolutely beaten really hard here. 
Here they come, here they come, as predicted. We've got to wait, if we can strike, if we can strike one of these regiments in the court, in the, in the flank here. They've lost the mortars for no reason at all. We might have a good chance here. We might have a good chance here. Now if they're angling for an attack here and they open up that flank, we're going to take it. We won't tip our hand just yet. This, this cavalry will just absolutely buckle them here if they come if they come in here. Let's just forward things on a little bit here so we can get... Because what we want to do is we want to see what this regiment here is going to do. Because these front lines are taking a bit of a beating, especially this one here. The 7th, which is the central f sort of regiment. I wonder if we can move these gentlemen out on the flanks here and catch them right on the hop. Here, but we just got to get in on, on these here. flank here as well as you can see. If we can just time this right. We can pin them down on these flanks here. We've got them. Look at that. They're going to fuck with it. They've given us a sound thrashing here. They really have. If we can dismantle this regiment here. Let's go. Now we get firing. We've got to break this flank.
So give them fire nets. We've got to break them here. The cavalry will be at Don't stop, don't stop, John. Don't stop. Gonna give them a second respite here. What a fight has been by this army, it's been an absolute joy to see. This city is going to cost them dear. Wow, what a fight that was. It's going to be a long march, but we're going to take the fight to them. Land here, you have done a wonderful job. They're running. We'll continue the battle. We're going to kill every single one of them we possibly can here. Let's destroy them a lot, as many as we can, you're right down. 
There's almost nothing left of them. Absolutely butchered them here. What a defence that was. I mean, look at that. The line broke as soon as we confronted them. Moving against these gentlemen here. Let's rid, let's rid them this this once and for all. Yes. That's more than like it. Well done, gentlemen. Well done. That's definitely more like it. Let's just stop. Fire, maybe more friendly fire, thank you very much. Don't let them, any of them survive here. Take as many as we can with us. That's what happens when you come through the villages, see, it just breaks up so much of your formation. Double our risk, we double our efforts here on these gentlemen here. I think we can put these fast forward here now. Yep, they've gone. Look at that, just swarming over them here. They've gone. Yes. I think we can end the battle. Yes, absolutely destroyed them. What a fight that was. I had my doubts, I had my doubts. But my goodness, look at that. They lost all of their men almost. Lost a thousand, that's still a lot, but my goodness, look at that. Look at the Prince Albrecht. They, these are the ones that won the battle for us. Over a thousand kills. Wow. Oh. <laughs> now they want a peace treaty. No, because they'll just give us a lot of problems. Otherwise, I don't think we will do that. I think we'll be taking that now from them. Thank you very much. Call and... Barbary States, again, hitting the trade lines. Looks like they're going for us here. We've hit the mines here. See, look at that. Most, they, for some reason, Poland is still getting our money. Is this army up at full stretch? No, it's not quite just yet. I think we need to prioritise here. With I think we'll bring. Looks like they're gonna. Yes, it looks like the Austrians are hitting here. They haven't moved against these yet. Oh, look at that there. Vilnius is taking a bit of a beating there from. Oh, Prussia's taking Vilnius. 
Wow. The plot thickens. Actually, let's stabilize this here. What a fight that was, my goodness me. But Russia's given them a bit of a hiding here, but it looks like they've taken Vilna. They've taken Warsaw back here, but they've taken Vilna's back off. They've taken Vilna's off. The Pol Polish. That's huge. And they've also started to build up quite the force here. It looks like they're going to defend their southern territories here. My goodness me, that's a strong force. And they've got it here as well. But eventually, I think we might be able to move... I think we might be able to move against the... Do you know what? I think we might be able to move against the Austrians here from Prague. And take Vienna. There's a good chance we might be able to do that. Because that force there is not strong at all. We're, gonna, we're definitely going to defend Hanover because the Alsi will give this army lots of experience as well. Excellent, that's ready. Iron mines being sabotaged, but we've got to expect this. We're in a pretty brutal war at the moment. I wonder if we can get peace with the Austrians because they're indifferent with us at the moment. Plus six, actually. Let's see if we can get some peace. No, they're not interested because they're plus six. That's, that is very odd. Definitely not going to take peace. No, they're not going to take peace at all. That's absolutely fine. I think, though, my friends, we'll end this episode here. I'd like to try and get your thoughts, my friends, on what we do next. Because now that, oh, now that Russia is here in Gdansk, that changes everything. Looks like we're going to have the looks like the fight's going to be pushed for the east away from us. So that's a good thing. But do we move against Vienna? Because I think this force once is a full strength. Which will be very, very soon. That could probably deal with Vienna. I think the Vienna, even though they've got the Marines in here, I think we might take Vienna out. Even though they've got this force to counterattack us, but that would be an absolute brute. So yeah, let's just quickly see if they've got anything else. A loitering or with intent. No, they don't. Nothing else around here at all. We're sort of caught in this corridor of uncertainty at the moment, but if we can get this army to deal with Hanover and then bring it back to Berlin and then replenish and repair it and get it up to full strength. This army is going to be incredibly strong. Look, look at the I mean, look at the experience already gained from fighting. It's been absolutely wonderful. But my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. I thank you all for your wonderful support. Particularly on the last, last episode, absolutely fantastic. The wonderful comments, wonderful advice. Thank you all my friends for your wonderful wonderful support. It does mean a lot. Um, I know we've got, we're at war with Sweden at the moment as well, but be honest with you, they're hostile with us, very hostile with us actually. I don't think there's going to be any peace with them just at the moment. They're allied with the Ottomans, the Ottomans aren't going to come to our help either in that terms. But for the moment, I think we can just about hold our own here. Especially if we can get if we can get this army to full strength, we might even be able to push against Sweden ourselves, which would be absolutely fantastic. But my friends, I can end this episode here. As always, please be safe whatever you do, my friend my friends, especially in the world we're living in at the moment. As always. Thank you for your wonderful support, but until next time, bye for now.